People who live at the southern border made the drive to Austin this week to voice their concerns to state lawmakers. The Senate Committee for Border Security is considering a number of bills meant to curb the flow of illegal immigration. Fox Wars' Alex Boyer has the story. We'll move to public testimony. One by one. It's like a war zone in Van Horn. People, you can't even go out unless you're armed. Texans who live along the southern border voicing their anger and frustration at the state capitol. They are scared when they walk their dogs. They are fearful to sit on their porches. They are constantly looking around for illegals. The group testifying before the state Senate Committee on Border Security. They say illegal border crossings are out of control. If the illegals are running through my yard, the border is not secure. The sheriff of Terrell County, located in the Big Bend region, agrees. Our apprehensions are up about 460 percent. The residents say their ranches are getting trashed. The damage to homes, infrastructure, crops, and livestock operations is visible in every one of our counties. The committee is considering several bills aimed at addressing problems at the border. SB 1133, which was voted out to the full Senate, would pay for some of the damage. That issue of dealing with property damage is for real. Uh, I've seen it myself. Other bills, like SB 1403, seek to increase the minimum prison sentence for certain criminal officers offenses involving human smuggling. You're going to have some natural tension between the federal and the state government. David Cole is a constitutional law attorney. He says there's been a growing perception over the last few years that problems along the southern border have gotten worse without federal intervention. And that's what's prompting a lot of these bills now. But even if they pass this legislative session, Cole says the state faces an uphill battle. The federal government under the Constitution has exclusive authority to regulate matters related to immigration. So Cole believes the state could end up in court down the road. Some of them are dead on arrival when they hit the courts. Others may well have some legs because they're able to get around uh, the charge that they're trying to regulate immigration policy and really are focused just on issues that are traditionally within state uh, regulatory boundaries. Alex Boyer, Fox 4 News.